what I've done today, it's been another day, um, is, I'll say another day, it's been about four days since I was on it last because I've been, I've been away because uh, we had a funeral to go to, or I, I did anyway, so uh, what I've done, um, now I've come back to the boat, bless her, is uh, put some thicker gauge wiring in for the battery and this is rated, I don't know if you can see, no you won't be able to see that, uh, 600 volts, 105 degrees celsius, so I mean this is more than sufficient, this cable, I mean it looks smaller than it is, because I've got huge hands. Um, one thing I have noticed is the battery hasn't got three lights on, it was very sunny earlier on, so the bat and I checked it, it's only like 12.9 or something, or 12.7, which is fully charged, yeah, but with the solar panel it should be more at 13.5 to 14, because I haven't been on here for three days, so I mean it should have put it back in. I do only have a 5 watt panel though, so I'm wondering if that has anything to do with it. Now I've got a bigger battery. Um, yeah, still waiting on transportation to the marina, uh, can't wait. And then I shall be living on her, as she is, why I do her up. So it will be very primitive to begin with. Um, hoping, like I've said before, it will make me a more rounded character. So yeah, I don't know how long the uh, camera will let me record because the battery's dead. But um, what I've done today, like I've said, is change the wiring. I pumped out the water and I'll show you now. Don't worry, Oy, slipped. <laughs> um, put some uh, battery terminals, some proper ones rather than these crappy little crocodile clips. And I've done some proper uh, wiring for the uh, for the connectors. Anyway, I've done some eye connectors. Uh, the spanner will come back with me, so that way you're short. So. We are getting there very slowly. Every day I'll do something. Oh, so beautiful today. I say it's a bit cloudy, but whenever it's sunny here, it's beautiful because you know the way it bounces off the water and it's not too windy. It's quite calm out. I'll be making uh, some more videos because I'll be down here more. I'm waiting on a charger, <coughs> right, yeah, with the fuse panel, I could probably show you. Got my charge controller, which is very basic, um, which we'll do for now. Got my switch panel, 5 watt solar panel, and um, 100 L, I'll say 100, it's uh, 89 or something, amp hour battery that I've got for free. All these cables are ugly and nasty because they're hanging out, but they are safe. Um, going to have a hole there so that all these cables can be bunched up go behind there and the wiring will be sorted properly behind here still haven't got a bulb yet I've seen one in Asda or for Americans that's that's our version of Walmart if you didn't know so um, yeah just had a nice nice cuppa can't wait to get my uh, my 50 watt solar panel down there, so we've got 55 watts. I mean, some of you are saying 55 watts, that doesn't sound like a lot. Well, for me it is, because all I'm using it for is charging my laptop and running some lights, uh, and charging my mobile phone, and that's all my power needs, um, essentially. I mean, I will be getting more power in here, as and when. Um, slowly upgrading the system with a wind turbine as well. Um, I mean, You'll often find me, when I'm on the boat, all I talk about is green energy. Because I'm quite passionate about solar and wind. Wind so much around here, we've either got loads or none. And today is one of those days when we've got none. But it's the sunniest part of the UK I live, so solar is probably the way to go for me. Um, but I will be getting sort of 450, three, three, about 350 to 450, somewhere around there, what? wind turbine that's what I'm after anyway so why I was here actually um, I quickly sorted out the wiring um, not organized it but oh, it is organized it's not so cut and shut it is proper wires to wires one end to the other 
But while I was on here, I just quickly hid the wires behind this cabinet and look how much better it looks. I mean, put it going through a small hole. It goes into the back of the cabinet, but um, yeah, much much more improved. All still works, all tested. The only wires I've got to sort out now are my five watt amorphous panel is hanging the cable, and I've got the cable running back to the light. But the light will be moved. I'm not sure where yet. The amorphous panel will definitely be moved because where the amorphous panel is, which is on top of that hatch, <clears throat> I'm going to have a 50 watt panel. And the amorphous panel <coughs> possibly go on the. Uh, I've got like a sliding hatch. It'll probably go on there. So yeah, um, just a quick update.